Alrighty, he'd like to check my messages and... Oh! Roy Havenstone too sent me something. That's nice of him. Oh, I wonder what this video is. Well, there you have it. Five facts that you may or may not have known about me. Now all that's left to do is to tag other people. But who do I know who hasn't been tagged already? Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna take a wild guess. You win this round. Okay, I've now been tagged, so the rules are I have to reveal five things you may or may not know about me, and then tag five other people. Alright then, here we go. Number one. Aside from video games, my other nerdom is martial arts. Now I've already mentioned that I'm in a Dark Age reenactment group part time, but I also practice Tai Chi, and I used to practice kickboxing before my instructor went mental. And whilst there are no other local martial art classes in my area, or at least not ones I can reach on a regular basis, I have also read many books on the subject. This is why I love watching Kung Fu movies, and it is also why the backward grip the apprentice uses really annoys me, but that's another rant for another day. And despite this, I know it's gonna sound weird, but I hate violence and gore. I guess I just like knowing how things work. Number two. Although you would think that monkeys are my favorite animal, considering that, you know, I'm called the Germany monkey and everything, monkeys are in fact my fourth favorite animal. Third place would be a tie between wolves and foxes, because Hey, they look pretty cool, right? Second would be cats, just because I have one, and they are a mixture between adorable, hilarious, or absolutely terrifying, depending on what expression they're giving you. And my all-time favourite animal is, oddly enough, seagulls. I can pin this down mainly to two reasons. The first of which is that I just love how a seagull looks. I don't know, it's just the whole colour scheme of white, grey, and black, it just makes it look unbelievably cool, I think. And number two, I love seagulls just because they are crafty bastards. They may be scavengers, but they have no fear. Unlike other animals, they don't run away from humans, they charge straight at them, because where humans live, there's gonna be food. This only strengthened when I went to university, because every single day, I would walk over the campus and I would see the seagulls stamping the ground in this kind of strange dance. And the reason they do this is because by dancing, that creates a lot of tremors in the ground, the earthworms pop up to see what the hell's going on, and the seagulls instantly nab them. Any animal that can come up with so many different ways just to get another piece of food is frankly an animal that gets my respect. That's why seagulls are my all-time favorite animal. Number three, I have very odd eating and drinking habits. For example, I don't drink any caffeine or alcohol. I've nothing against people who do, I've just personally never seen the point of it. However, I do drink apple juice on a regular basis, so unfortunately those sketches in Disguise of Arcadia episode of VGT are a lot closer to the truth than most people realise. Whilst I've not got tipsy of apple juice, it is the one thing I am constantly drinking. In fact, whenever we and Sven do monkey broadcast, I'm usually slowly getting through a pint glass fill of the stuff because damn it, nothing calms the nerves and soothes the vocal cords like a glass filled of apple juice. Preferably concentrate though, I've never really liked the press, it just tastes too watery and weak to my taste, but I'm getting way off topic now. Number 4. Since I'm sure people are curious, my Donkey Kong fanboyism has led me to buy pretty much every single Donkey Kong game, with the exception of the DKC free port of Donkey Kong Country. And I also have a Donkey Kong t-shirt and a Donkey Kong keyring for my car. Yes, I know it's sad, but hey, what can I say? I love the big guy, and I've got an image to keep up now as well. And finally, number five. I've already mentioned in an old episode of Monkey Broadcast what inspired me to make internet videos, but many people don't know where my style of humor comes from. And for those of you who want to know, it's BBC Radio 4 Comedies. But when I say Radio 4 Comedies, I tend to mean the more modern day satirical comedies. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the long running panel games such as Just a Minute and I'm Sorry I'm Having a Clue, but honestly, the classics everyone loves to talk about, like Hancock and The Good Show, I've never really seemed need to be that funny. Why? Well, Hancock just always seemed like an old man whinging to me, and The Good Show was from a painfully insulting period of British history, where in order to let people know it was a comedy, everyone had to speak in funny British like this every 24 hours! Oh, God! 
So yeah, I've never found that kind of thing funny. However, but if you're curious that a lot of people have uploaded clips to YouTube, just type in The Now Show or It's Been A Bad Week and you'll easily find some of the clips. It's the mixture of presenting opinions in a comedic way as also occasionally cutting off to do sketches that I really do enjoy about these comedies. That said, there are some TV influences as well, such as The Simpsons, South Park, and, and the TV panel shows like Would I Lie To You and Have I Got News For You. Although, Have I Got News For You, is it just me or is that getting less and less funny each season? I don't know, maybe it's because I'm getting more annoyed of Ian Hislop these days. Maybe it's because I lost respect for him after the time he declared that Sarah Palin was an attractive politician. Or the time he accused Mark Steele, a man who's ten times funnier than he'll ever be, of being a communist because he made the suggestion that maybe us British won't be able to live up to the Chinese Olympic opening ceremony. <sighs> boy. But yeah, that's where my humour came from. And there you have it, five things you may or may not have known about me. Now according to the rules, I have to tag five people, and, well, obviously there are no hard feelings towards these people, but to quote a certain floating brain, if I'm going down, I'm taking you, 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 and especially you, down with me. So with that, all that's left to say is, until next time, cheerio.